and welcome to Kate's Kitchen. Tonight I've got my guest, my friend Margaret, and we are going to make homemade personal mm. size pizza. Wow. And I've made homemade pizza dough to go with it. We're going to make homemade pizza dough, so it's going to be fun. Yummy, I can't wait. Hey, Katie, I know I love pizza, but one of the problems I have is high in sodium, so give me a clue on how I could uh, make sure it's not high in sodium. There's several different ways you can do that. Um, the pasta sauce itself has a lot of sodium. Looking for a good low sodium or no sodium pasta sauce, that's key. Um, the crust, the pizza dough itself can have a lot of sodium in it. So it really depends on if you're doing store-bought, uh, start with flatbread, or are you going to make your own dough? If you make your own dough, you can eliminate sodium. And all of the pizza toppings, they do have sodium, like olives and the sausage or pepperoni. Mm -hmm. um, even the cheese is high in sodium. So you really need to kind of watch each ingredient. Okay. I'm using the bread machine to make my pizza dough. It does everything for me. So what I have in here is one and a half cups of water and two tablespoons of olive oil. You want to make sure to add the wet ingredients first. I've got a combination of whole wheat flour, one and a half cups, and two cups of regular unbleached bread flour, as well as I've got one tablespoon of evaporated cane juice for my sugar, and I have a half teaspoon of salt. And the last ingredient that I'm going to add is two teaspoons of the active yeast. And this is the quick rise yeast that is made for bread machines. I set the bread machine on the proper cycle and the bread machine will do the work. It is going to knead the dough and let it rise and it will beep when it's all done. Now I'm chopping up the vegetables for the pizza. fresh homegrown tomato. I like to put all of the toppings into a divided bowl. This way they're easy to reach and add to the pizza and you can also use these when you're adding them to your salad. Now we have a fresh wide variety of vegetables and toppings for our pizza and salad. When it comes to pizza sauce, what I like to do is use pasta sauce that's already in a jar. And my favorite line is the Mont Benet Farms. They have a wide variety of flavors, no sugar added, and they are relatively low in sodium. Tomato uh, pasta sauce can be very high in sodium. You need to really look at the labels and be very careful. This for a half cup serving is 191 milligrams of sodium. Another good alternative is Sprouts has a line. If you've got a Sprouts in your area, Sprouts has a line of no sodium pasta sauce. Where you get your flavor, you're going to add your fresh basil and oregano, your garlic and all of the extra things plus Pizza toppings themselves generally have a lot of sodium. You don't need sodium in your pasta sauce. And a third option is using Muir Glen organic 
no salt added tomato sauce. It comes in a can. Um, I've seen it around several different grocery stores around here. Probably you can find it in your area. But again, depending on which type of pizza dough that I'm using will depend on which pasta sauce that I use. And then for pizza dough, you've got several different choices. You can start with a sandwich thin and break it apart. You've got two thin whole wheat uh, sandwich thins that you can use as two little mini pizzas. Or there's such a thing as flatbread, whole wheat flatbread, and it's about a six inch diameter whole wheat. The only thing to be careful of is this particular brand has 390 milligrams of sodium in this one portion, and this is one portion for your personal pizza. So with the pizza toppings and the pasta sauce, it adds up very quickly. You wanna to try to minimize your sodium count and have under 700 milligrams for any one given meal. Another good option if your grocery store has it, look in the freezer section. You may find whole wheat pizza dough that's already made. Thaw it and use it just like you would fresh. But today, we've made fresh homemade whole wheat pizza dough. And what I love about homemade is I control what goes in it. I've made this low sodium and high flavor. So in just a minute, we're going to make our pizzas with our fresh homemade dough. Here is the pizza dough after I've taken it out of the bread machine. This is eight servings, so I'm going to cut this up into eight pieces so that we can have individual pizzas that are about six inches each. Katie, what's the best way to store the extra pizza dough? That's a good question. If you're not going to use it within two to three days, then you're going to want to freeze it. And the way that you do that, we're going to put it in a Ziploc bag, take all the air out. I put them in individual portions in individual Ziploc bags so that I can take out one if I need one or two if I'm going to make two. And that way you can freeze it for up to six months. Or if you're going to plan to use it within two to three days, put it in that same Ziploc bag, take all the air out and put it in your refrigerator. Oh, okay, great. That, oh, I love it. I love it. So you take the individual dough and you put it in the Ziploc bag. You seal it all the way across except for one inch and then just roll that, push the air out and seal that last bit. Now these are good to go in the freezer or in the refrigerator just like that. Taking the dough and just making six inch or so diameter it doesn't have to be exactly round. These are personal pizzas, so they can have their own personal flair. Just stretch them out. You don't want to have anything go through. So now our pizza dough is ready to go in the oven. I've preheated the oven. It just went off 400 degrees, and I'm going to let those bake for about 10 minutes before we put the sauce and the toppings on. So these are really hot. They just came out of the oven. They've been in there for 10 minutes. They're not baked all the way through, but I'm using about a quarter of a cup of the pasta sauce. And I'll let you come and do yours after. And I'm gonna use about a third of a cup of cheese. I like mushrooms. Mushrooms are a slow carb that are unlimited, so I can put as many as I want and not have to worry about it. And some fresh tomato from my garden. Some black olives. A little bit of green olives. I'm going to put some fresh basil from my garden. All of this freshness, it really makes the pizza great. And put some red onion. These are all slow carbs. And 
and some red pepper. And then I'm going to use some turkey sausage to make sure I've got enough protein. And now they're ready to go back in and bake until that cheese is melted. It'll take another five to eight minutes. Pizza with a side salad is a perfect food lover's fat loss meal. Mmm, 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 Katie. This is heavenly. Mmm, the cheese, oh, the fresh tomatoes, the cheese, the, the dough, the pizza. Oh, the pizza dough is awesome. I love it. Mmm. So thank you for coming to Kate's Kitchen for another nice episode. We had a wonderful food lovers fat loss meal, personal pizza with a nice side salad. Come back next time. I'm looking forward to cooking with you.